out next, Brian Gallick. In the left side out of Pennsylvania, that's the Gallick and Scrow machine. He finds himself all of a sudden shuffled down to the number 15 spot. The bump spot for now is going to hang in there at 6.70, but once you get past that run, Brian Gallick is 15th at 566. It's going to be a pretty tightly packed, packed field by the time we all get done. Gallick owns a shop out in Pennsylvania, working with Lou Scro, part of the Frank Manzo team for quite some time. Finally able to put together his own deal, so he can come out here and be the one dropping the clutch. And Tony Bogolo, the Faxon team out of Hamilton. James Roberts mustered up a 563 in the opening session. And that was good for number 12. Of course, 563 when we started this, had you in the top half of the field. Tony's been bumped and nudged and shoved back by the likes of Jake, Sean, Mike, Nick. Well, you get the idea. smoke out I hate when the smoke comes out 561 260 miles an hour for Tony Bogolo and that's gonna be a slight improvement Brian Golick was on his way to improving it looked like but then he let the smoke out it was 5701 look at the speed only 231 miles an hour and that's gonna have our top end safety team and trackside observers taking a real close look out there just because there's smoke doesn't mean that we need to do a cleanup, but you certainly aren't going to see that much smoke and not go down and check. I have mentioned before race cars and high tech electronics have this in common. They operate most efficiently when you keep the smoke inside. When the smoke starts escaping, you got a problem. As we watch this again on the NHRA.TV replay. You are going to see the smoke escaping. Well, you might. I can't see it on my monitor, but you can. Watch here. And we'll wait for word at the top end of the racetrack. 